Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to use Qualtrics to analyze your survey data and provide a descriptive report immediately. We are using the Diversity Climate Survey as an example for this training. This anonymous survey examines individuals' perceptions of the on-campus diversity climate and their experiences in a variety of areas related to diversity and campus climate. This survey includes 11 subscales such as satisfaction with campus diversity, value on social action, and diversity activities participation. Click into the survey and go to data analysis. There is some important information on this page. Recorded responses are closed record, which includes 100% completed responses. However, it also includes preview responses, test responses, and partial responses. Preview responses let you see what your data might look like on the back end. Test responses are randomly generated data, and they let you see how your data will look before sending out the survey. Lastly, partial responses happen when respondents may have skipped over questions to the end of the survey. There are also responses in progress, which are responses that have been started but not submitted. Responses in progress become recorded responses when a survey expires or is manually closed. The finished column shows the status of the respondent survey. True means completed and false means partial. In this example, one response recorded on December 3rd is a test survey submitted for this presentation. We definitely don't want any test data or preview data to be included in our analyses. So click the action button for that unwanted record and select delete response. On this data page, each row represents a person's survey responses. If your survey allows multiple entries, by default, a person's repeated responses will be in a separate single row. In terms of data analysis, there are two options here. You can either export the data from Qualtrics and conduct analyses in other programs such as Microsoft Excel, SPSS, and R, or perform data analysis right in Qualtrics. To analyze data in other programs, select the Export Data button from the Export and Import dropdown. Then you can choose a file format. CSV and SPSS are the two most commonly used formats for data analysis. CSV provides an Excel compatible file. Click download and obtain your file after the download process is completed. Here's a screenshot of what an Excel data file looks like. In this tutorial, we would like to show you how to perform simple analyses and produce descriptive table and graph reports directly in Qualtrics. Go to Reports. In the Results section, Qualtrics generates a default report that provides information of the choice frequencies for each question. Click any visualization to open its editing pane. You can customize visualizations quickly by picking from the editing panes options. You are free to change color schemes and chart or table types. For example, you may want to change the metric from choice count to percentage, change a bar chart to a pie chart, and change the color red to orange. You may also display data by checking the show bar labels box. You can also break out your results by group, for example, by gender. The filtering option can help you screen out the data that you don't need at the moment. You can create your conditional statements by clicking Add Filter. For example, you might want to focus on female participants. Select the demographic question 14.2, select a choice, select operator, and pick an operator. Here we choose Is and pick your operand. The value here we choose 2, female and apply it to the conditional statement. Now the filter we just created changed the visualizations. You can export a single visualization by selecting the question item. Choose Page Options, Export Page As, and then select the desired format. If you don't want to show all of the questions on the report, instead you just want to show part of the survey results, you can hide questions that you don't want to display in the report. Go to the left on the pane, 
and uncheck the box for those unwanted questions. If you don't like some of the displays on the report, for example, you just want to show the bar chart, not a statistics description table, you can click the three dots on the top right, and then select Remove Visualization. If you want to write a short paragraph to describe the results and help stakeholders to interpret the data, you can click Add Note and type in your descriptions. After you modify your report, you can share a results report. Go to Share Report. There are many ways to share your report, such as generating a digital copy in a PDF, Word, or PowerPoint format. Or you can share your report with a web link by selecting Manage Public Report. A public report is dynamic, interactive, and updates in real time. Any changes to the Qualtrics report are posted immediately and can be viewed via the link. Choose Public Report Available, you can add an access code, which allows only a certain group of people to view the report. Copy the link and click Done. If you would like to conduct multivariate analyses that are beyond describing frequencies and row percentages, you can use the Cross Tabs page under Data and Analyses. Again, take the Diversity Climate Survey as an example. You may want to perform chi-squared analyses to see whether there is a relationship between years of affiliation with the institution and their self-reported ability to see the world from someone else's perspective. You can drag Q91, how long have you been affiliated with the institution, into columns in the variable Q1.3, ability to see the world from someone else's perspective, into rows. Then select Total Count, Counts, and Column Percentages. The crosstab analysis shows that 220 individuals who have been affiliated with the institution between 1 to 4 years answered question 1.3. 41.8% reported that they had a major strength and the ability to see the world from someone else's perspective. Then we can also perform a chi-squared test in Qualtrics to test the significance of the group differences. Select Overall Stat Test of Percentages. A p-value is calculated in Qualtrics. The p-value here it shows that the self-ratings on the ability to see the world from someone else's perspective are on average statistically different for the affiliation year group at a significance level of p less than 0.05. You can also create nesting columns to have one set of variables splitting another. For example, we would like to see a breakdown of gender nested under affiliation year. Instead of having male and female in six affiliation year categories separately, you get 12 aggregated columns. We just need to drag the variable Q14.2, sex identification, under the variable Q91, year of affiliation. Then the results are updated. One thing should be noted is that in the crosstab, the variables are not always presented in the correct order. For example, in question 2, less than 6 months option should be presented first before the choice at least 6 months but less than 1 year. To reorder the choices, we click the setting icon of the variable in the banner window. Choose the choice you want to move and drag it to the right place, then click Save. Same issue is found with the scale points in the rows. We click the setting icon of the scale variable in the stubs window. Drag the selected scale point to the correct place, then Save. Sometimes we may want to group some scale points together to get more meaningful analysis. For example, we can combine major strength and somewhat strong and major weakness and somewhat weakness together by using the bucketing feature in Qualtrics.
there are two ways to export the crosstab results. You can select export and then send all the tables onto an Excel sheet. Or you can hide the configuration sidebar, right click and select print to save the table in a PDF format.